So when we're in pivot and we want to take a distance, obviously we're going to use the ruler. For part one of the ping pong ball cannon lab, we had to um, progress these frames until we first saw the ping pong ball coming out of the cannon. And then the lab instructed us to put the ruler and put the zero at the right edge of the ping pong ball. So how am I going to get a distance traveled um, in a certain amount of time? Well, if this is going to be my starting point, my initial point that I'm looking at, I want that, obviously, position to be zero. But when I look down here at the stopwatch, I also want this to be zero. Because right now it's 0 0.0164 because the video has been playing up until this point. Just like in real life, if I want to reset a stopwatch, that resets it back to zero. Now I'm taking the time from this point to any point after. If I progress one frame, that took 0 0.00038 seconds. Make sure we type in the correct number of zeros in our table. And to me, that looks like it went 8 centimeters. We can go one more. 0 0.00077. That looks like it went 15, not quite 16, a little less. So I would guess probably 16.8. That decimal is going to be a guess. And that's going to put some uncertainty in our measurements, which we're going to talk about in a different video when we're analyzing our graph. So if I want to get the disc or the time it takes to hit this can, that's 0 0.00269 seconds. And I can see from our ruler that the can is 52 centimeters away from where the ping pong ball started. Notice, if I want to get these positions of the ping pong ball, I started by putting the ruler at the right edge of the ball. If I progress it a couple frames, I can't look at the left edge for the distance because I started with the right edge. So I must always look at the right edge to figure out how far it's traveled in this certain amount of time. Uh, so hopefully this is a helpful video to help you get distance and time. Part one, you do it once. Part two, you do it five times. Um, and then you make a graph, which will be the next video.